Hey guys, what's up? My name is Zanger Banjo. We're jumping back into our continuing uh, progress of our blind playthrough of Chrono Trigger. Playing it all on the PC right now. Uh, last time, like I said, we took down Magus. Uh, we found out the horrible truth that he did not make... Uh... Yeah, he did not have anything to do with uh, creating Lavos. It seemed like he was actually more or less kind of summoning Lavos. And, you know, not wanting him to wake up or whatnot. That. But we got transported back in time to the prehistoric era with Ayla. And it looks like Ayla's having some issues of her own. So our job today looks like we're going to do our best to actually help Ayla out and save Kino. And kind of stop the reptiles from really taking over here. Once again, it looks like we're about to have Ayla join our party. Which is, not, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind having Ayla in our party. I still haven't figured out who my favorite party member in the game is. Uh, if you guys have a personal favorite uh, party member, let me know down in the comment section. I'm curious to see who everyone's favorite party member in this game is. Um, I, I, I like Frog, and I like Robo. Uh, Moral, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like hit or miss on her. Uh, I do like Ayla. Ayla plays well, and I'm not saying that because of how <laughs> they designed her character, but I'm just saying based on uh, how where she plays, she's more of a physical character. Uh, I'm not the best magic user in the world. Let's just put it like that. So it looks like we do have to... Uh... Yep, Ayla's in our party, so we do have to pick and choose. I am curious if we should keep Moral or if we should use Frog. I'm going to make the choice of keeping Moral for now. Really cool, right? We just we saw. So what we did is we got to see what was going to happen in the animated sequence, and then we saw the animated sequence. And the thing I liked about the uh, about that sequence is we just saw Chrono and Ayla, and in that sequence there was that third dactyl there, and it was empty. I guess the thing is because like someone could have taken someone else at that point instead of Moral, which is fine. Uh, it just to me is kind of funny, and it actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is an issue with the actual game, but check this out. So we're flying down south. The map repeats. Instead of getting to that point in the game with the map where it just stops you from going further south or further north or further east or further west, the game just keeps letting you loop. It's like we we hit an infinite loop here uh, of like traveling. And I would imagine that the map would just be like, no... You're stopping here. This is as far as you can go. So, uh, to me, that's definitely something that's kind of comical there. Uh, a little fun thing I just realized here. And I'm probably going to mess up quite a bit. I feel like this is where we're supposed to go. Weird that the, you know, Azela would have her, you know, evil, evil lair, you know, right next to a volcano, which feels a little... I don't know if that would be considered off-brand or on-brand for, um... Reptiles or not, I don't know. Also, I want to point out, how did they build like something like this in the year 65 million BC? That's something I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around as well. Like, I, I, I get it. It's possible. It's doable uh, to an extent. Maybe the reptiles are more of an advanced civilization than the humans are. Uh, that is also a very possible thing. I'm just kind of questioning things right now. Um, because, like, we're thinking about it. You know, it doesn't make sense. Also, in case you're wondering, like, Fangs are replacing gold right now. We haven't gotten any gold in any of these fight situations. We have Fangs. I don't know where we're supposed to use those. What we're supposed to do with them. Uh, that is an interesting situation, though. Uh, and like I said, this layer is very well set up. Uh, not gonna lie. Uh, we, we're in a very interesting predicament right now. So, we're kind of gonna... Kind of try to guess where we're supposed to go. Trying to find like a lever or something like that that we have to pull. 
Once again, I could be completely and utterly wrong about what we're supposed to do in here. I am certain we are supposed to be in here, though. Uh, are we supposed to go... Oh, what do you know? We're supposed to go through the mouth. Okay. See, I don't know what we're doing in this game. We're just kind of, you know, figuring it out, so to speak. We don't we don't know what we're doing. Uh, the whole point is this is a blind playthrough. Uh, blind playthroughs are either <laughs> going to be hilarious uh, because the person doesn't know what they're doing, or um, they're going to be interesting because if there's someone who plays games like this a lot, they're either going to pick it up pretty fast or they're going to struggle with it. We're kind of like in the middle there where we're not doing uh, the most amazing job in the world, uh, but we're not we're not doing terrible. We're not doing amazing. We're just really just slowly getting through the game. I don't know in terms of like, if we were to say you're about 50% through the game or 60% of the game, I can't say for certain where we are, how far in the game we are, because for all we know, we could have to do go somewhere else and then go somewhere else. There could be, a, it could be like another, we could be just at the halfway point right now is what I'm trying to say. We don't know for certain and let's be honest, we probably won't know for certain, which is fine. Uh, but right now, we're just kind of just going through the game. We're at like level 30 right now with Chrono, almost. Uh, or we are, I don't know. Uh, but it's just pretty amazing. And usually when we're playing an RPG game, usually we hit that level 30 mark uh, pretty early on in the game, to be fair. If you guys uh, have been watching our Persona 4 Let's Play, uh, we are... I'm not sure where we are in terms of, you know, sharing the videos and whatnot, but, you know, we hit level 30 by around the end of that first dungeon. We can grind like nobody's business in a Persona game. Uh, in a game like this, I don't know, I, I, I did Google, I'm not gonna lie, I did Google best grinding spots in Chrono Trigger, and they said, you don't have to, you dumb noob. Uh, <laughs> it didn't say that, I, I'm making that up, but what I'm saying is, is that, like, you know, it is saying that, you know, you can easily uh, grind, you don't need to grind out levels here, and right now we're looking for Kino, I think we found Kino right here. Uh, why is this thing not working? I'm trying to pull the, the lever here, and it's not working, so I guess Ayla's just gonna, you know... She's just gonna Ayla it, you know, which is fine. <laughs> or she's going to climb over it. The, the character animation here does not make much sense, but I'll just shrug it off. Um, so it looks like Ayla's trying to get Kino to take all the Larva people which is people in that village that we saw earlier in our last video near the end and run. Now, obviously, I don't know why Kino's just be like, okay, that's fine, do it. Uh, cause... Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that we have a lot to do uh, in three people taking down the entire reptile issue. Yeah, no, that's not going to fly. Also, the fact that she keeps saying that if Ayla dies, Kino's the new chief. I'm trying to understand uh, what she means. If she's, if, if they're like, you know, husband and wife, or if they're brother and sister, or whatever the correct terminology is. So we're going to see if there's anything in this room. I want to see. I just want to see. Uh, so we can't use other characters' abilities either, outside of them being in our party, which means only Ayla, Chrono, and Moral can have their skills used, which is uh, an interesting little factoid right there for you guys, uh, needless to say. So we still have to figure out where we're going. Uh, no idea at this moment in time, so we're kind of kind of just taking a guess and stab in the dark. It looks like Kino led us to where we needed to go. Um, which is the other half, the other side of that mouthpiece section. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't have known that if uh, Kino didn't lead us there. So I'm just saying thank. I'm very grateful for Kino as a whole here. It looks like uh, your usual fights here. The Megasaur and a Reptile. Which means, obviously, we're going to have to resort to using our... our electricity magic here on uh, the Megasaur to kind of weaken him a bit. 
so that we're going to be able to uh, then wail on him. I don't know if we should take out the reptile first. I kind of feel like we should be doing a bit of both. We'll do that. There we go. So the defense will be lowered by the static shock. We'll take out the reptile there real quick. And focus on pounding out the Megasaur. So uh, seeing how this thing's set up, this looks like it's going to be a pretty decent length. I don't want to say decent length dungeon. I feel like it's going to be a uh, kind of, well, I mean, kind of it's a dungeon. I feel like it's going to be a decent length one. I don't think it's going to be as long as the Fiends, the Fiend Lord's Keep. The Fiend Lord's Keep was really ridiculous. It was long. That was a long one, the Fiend Lord's Keep. Um, this, I'm hoping, is kind of like a regular pace one. I think it might be a little bit longer than usual. Because I like to think that maybe that Fiend Lord section of the game is the midway point. Where we get the major plot twist. And then the next half of the game feels shorter because it's less locations. But there's more content. Once again, I don't know. This is all speculation. I'm just, like, taking a stab in the dark right now with this game. Uh, trying to figure out what the hell we're doing. Uh, don't take what I'm saying here. Because as we're playing this game, this is just me using logic here. Or trying to think about it while we're trying to play the game. I, I, I'm not, like I said, we don't know what we're doing at this moment in time with this game. Uh, we're just playing it and we're just slowly progressing through it. We can't, <laughs> I can't say uh, with like that unending certainty what's going to happen exactly. So just take what I say with a grain of salt to an extent and just, in, you know, we're just going to go on this journey together. Like I said, where the hell are we going? I feel like I'm going back the other side that we came out of here. Which would make me pretty damn stupid because, like I said, we came from that other side. But I'm just making sure we didn't miss anything. I don't want to be that person that, uh, you know, that I feel like I'm going to miss something here. And I don't think we did. I think we're, yeah, we're back to, you know, where Kino is locked up. Meaning that we were probably going the right way by going in that other hall. I'm not like one million percent certain, uh, but it looks like that's the case. Which, if that is, uh, we're definitely pretty dumb. Ah, oh, this is so confusing. It's saying, nope, we're back to where we back here. I, I think. Yeah. This is frustrating because I, I, it's not that I'm lost, it's that I kind of don't know my sense of direction right now. It's all messed up in this. Uh, this game really isn't uh, helpful with my sense of direction. So we already went that way. That side's all done. So there's somewhere over here that we're supposed to go. Uh, oh! Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we step on those. Nothing really happens. Oh, there was a door! <laughs> Guys, I feel so stupid. They don't make it known that that's a door. That's just like here. I walk through it and it turns out it's a door. This is ridiculous. I feel really stupid right now, guys. I... Like I said, this is a blind playthrough. This is when we said that it's going to be between me being coming out looking really great, being like a master kind of uh, master at this game, or, you know, me looking like a total idiot, and it's comical. Kind of like straying that line, closing uh, close to me looking like an idiot. Uh, this is no Persona. Uh, for a Persona gamer, I could be like, yep, I know exactly what I'm doing. 100% uh, certainty. Uh, we do not know what we're doing, if we're going to be totally and utterly honest with you. Uh, <laughs> I do have, like, oh my god, it's the holiday, it's the holiday season's coming up, right? Uh, so many games to play, so many games. There's going to be older games that came out earlier this year that are going to be on sale uh, in a few weeks. Uh, there's even games coming out now uh, that I really want to get my hands on, like Miles Morales. Uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, big, uh, you guys know me, I'm a major Spider-Man fan. Uh, I love I love comics. I read a lot of comics. I read all the Marvel comics every week. 
uh, in case you guys haven't been watching our Spider-Man videos. Uh, we are going to be doing a Let's Play for Miles Morales uh, once we get once we get a chance to actually sit down and play with the play it. Uh, we had a new Assassin's Creed uh, come out this year, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Looking forward to getting, getting a chance to play that. Uh, I've played every Assassin's Creed game since the first one, uh, throwing that out there. Uh, most of them have been good, t good titles. I I would say I played the mainline titles. Uh, I, we played one, we played two, we played three. We played Black Flag. Uh, we have Unity. We never finished it. Uh, Syndicate. Absolutely love Syndicate. We played Origins and Odyssey. Um, now it's Valhalla. We did play. We didn't play Rogue. That's the one we didn't play. Uh, we didn't play Liberation either, which is the one set in New Orleans. Um, I'm curious to see how Valhalla plays. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion uh, came out for last gen consoles a few uh, uh, back in October, and it's coming out in current gen real soon. Looking forward to that. I Watch Dogs One disappointed me. Watch Dogs Two, I loved it. I loved Watch Dogs Two. I thought that was a great game. Uh, I'm, I'm very skeptical on Legion. I'm looking forward to playing it, and if it's going to be on sale, we'll grab it. Uh, there are other titles that are coming out. Uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, my buddy, um, one of my buddies, one of our subscribers here, actually has it, and he said it's actually pretty good. It's over the top and ridiculous, but it's good. I'm going to check that out. Uh, I, I, that's a recommendation. I like the Yakuza games as a whole. Um, they're a little too... Uh, the mainline uh, games are a little too um, over the top for me to an extent. The gameplay is not what I prefer, so we'll... Definitely have to check out Like a Dragon, and Cyberpunk 2077 comes out soon, as well as the Dragon Quest 11 Echoes of an Elusive Age, the Definitive Edition, also drops. Uh, I did see uh, those are not going to be on sale, which is a shame, but I get it. Um, looking forward to all the games we're going to get in 2020, the rest of the year. And then, of course, we're going to have uh, we have some older games. I said I'd pick up uh, three new tales. I have I picked up three new tales games. Uh, the other week, and we're going to probably play them for here, the channel. I have now four Tales games. Uh, you guys, I'm going to let you guys pick which one we play first, whether it's Vesperia, uh, Vesperia, or Zestria, or Symphonia. I have a feeling Symphonia or Vesperia is going to win, uh, if I were to ask, but we'll see. I got a lot of other stuff to play, too, so we're actually getting a big backlog of RPG titles uh, to play, and right now, we're kind of just wandering around here uh, aimlessly, trying not to I'm trying to figure out where the hell we're going is there a method to the madness here or is the game just kind of throwing us out here do we actually make progress I can't tell I feel like we're gonna get lost and I don't like getting lost uh, if anybody's noticed we kind of diverted our conversation away from the game as uh, we got lost I don't know if it's what causes to get lost or if we just got lost because I suck um, <laughs> that was probably the easiest Megasaur fight we've had so far uh, let's see here oh no literally like two seconds after our last fight we get into another fight I don't know if that's like an intentional <laughs> design or if that just happened because we suck and we didn't get away fast enough I'm going to think it's more along the lines of the second one, uh, that we didn't get away fast enough. Wow! One thousand damage, that's insane. That is insane. Another fight here. We're going to start working on this. Uh, let's see. And we're really just kind of trying to find out where we're going. I know we need to go up. We probably have to fight a, a, a Zayla. And we probably do have to put a stop to all the fun, I guess. We'll, I don't really think it's fun, per se. But we do have to put a stop, probably, to all of the, I guess we'll say, the uh, reptiles' evil plans. Because for some reason, the reptiles have to be bad guys. And, you know, the, the humans can't be the bad guys. Not that I'm saying reptile people are great. Uh, you guys are probably thinking I'm a lizard person now for saying that. I am not a lizard person. I am a person person. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to uh, come out and say, no, I'm not a lizard person in any shape, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, because that is the actual case here. I'm just going to drop this Megasaur on us. 
And these enemy encounters, are, I think, are getting, in, from my perspective, they're getting a little more frustrating. I'm not saying they are frustrating. I'm saying they're getting a little frustrating. And I would prefer if they weren't. And we actually haven't encountered like a safe space here, so we could use our... Like, I wonder if there was a, uh, how close we are to where we need to be here. I don't know. The game's not really giving us any indication here, so we're just going to keep on going. Oh, we got to be careful here. Um... Okay, so that opens the mouth, but it also gives us an encounter. I feel like we're getting near the end of this uh, this little dungeon thing. I don't know for certain. I just have this feeling that we're probably getting close. And yeah, we have, I mean, let's be honest, I have no clue um, how close we are uh, to the end here. But we're going to keep on, you know, kind of plugging away, so to speak, here. And there we go. We took that that fight pretty easily. Uh, like I said, we could be a smidge over leveled at this point in time. We did something there. I don't know what, but we're moving here. We did something. I don't know. Oh, there we go. We opened that door. We opened that door, and now we get to another encounter here. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, we'll find out definitely are going to find out here. Needless to say... The nice thing is, is we've reached that point in the game where we have enough tech points where our characters are going to start getting uh, their like second level skills, so to speak. Uh, by second level, I mean like Ice 2 and Lightning 2, and those are going to be able to help us really just kind of wail down on, uh, we'll say, definitely kind of wail down on our enemies, like with our, you know, mass spells here, so to speak. We're going to be able to use, like, Ice 2 to take out all the enemies instead of just one enemy. And right now we're definitely just waiting for Marl's uh, spell to really do its damage here. Because I think it's going to be enough to take it down. And it should be. And it is. So, there we go. We should have enough... Uh, we should have cleared that out. And we can actually go forward now and not backwards. So we will be able to move up. Let's see here what we got going on here. And I want to make sure we're all healed up. Because I feel like we're going to be approaching like a boss, so to speak, soon. So if we use our items right now... I don't even know how close we are going to be here uh, to any further future encounters right now. So we're going to see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We didn't need to use this magic cap, so that's going to come in handy here. You see, uh, Chrono is not the best magic user, and we see Marl is not the best magic user. But this looks like a great place for us to get ready to kind of call it a break, guys. Thank you so much for watching our blind playthrough for Chrono Trigger. Uh, my name has been Anger Banjo. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to continue our blind playthrough next time. Hopefully we can take down Azela and save the day here in the prehistoric ages. I'll see you guys next time. We have more Chrono Trigger. Don't go anywhere.